folks don't realize how much stuff is set up around me right now. So bear with me. And I got the pooch. I got the pooch right here. Let's see here. My assistant. This is a uh, Koa. It's old now. Yeah, 16 weeks old now. Just a little puppy. Yeah, there you go. Probably getting a lot of static from the mic. But between the cameras I got set up, the lighting, getting everything ready to go just to put out a little class so you folks get some good content out of this and you pay attention. It's a lot of work. All right, folks. So in this video, I'm going to be covering GPS file types and converting those file types with a program called GPS Babel. It's a free open source software package for a computer, for a PC or Mac. You can get online and download it from the web. And right here's the name of it, GPS Babel. And basically what this program allows you to do is convert file types uh, back and forth between what we care about, GPX, which is what we use inside of LeadNav, um, KML, which we use in Google Earth, uh, and the other file type you might see is USR, which runs in a Fish Finder Lawrence unit. Primarily, we are using this program to convert those file types back and forth uh, to use in each of the programs during our planning phase. All right, so now that we got the program downloaded, we're gonna open it up. You can see it's a pretty simple program. You're basically choosing the GPS file type, choosing what you want it to be, and you're hitting OK, and it converts it with a click of a button. You can see up here the format. You're gonna choose the format, and this is a big list. You are never gonna use, I mean, you're, you're, the majority of these you'll never see. Uh, the only ones we care about, again, are GPX, KML, or KMZ, which is a zipped KML for Google Earth, or USR, which uh, Lawrence uses. But again, I'm not gonna go over all the, the file types and why each device uses what they use, but Lawrence fish finders use GPX as well. GPX is the standard GPS format. So it is primarily the only one you're ever gonna care about. Reason we use this program basically is to convert that GPX, that standard GPS file back and forth to put it in Google Earth so we can actually do a little bit of terrain study and do a little bit uh, more in depth planning at home with that file before putting it back into the units to take in the field with you. So again, look at all these file types. We don't need half of these in this list. So right now, let's back out of here, uh, go up to the preferences of the GPS Babel. And right here, let's move this over here. And general, you probably won't even touch any of those. Let's go to formats. Look at all these, there they all are. Let's disable all. And let's just find the three that we care about. Go down the list, GPX, right here. We want that one, which is what LeadNav uses, and every other GPS in the world pretty much uses GPX. Uh, let's go down, let's look for uh, KML. Let's see here. All right, while we're at it though, right here is Lawrence USR, so we are gonna click that one. We will see that one occasionally if you're a desert racer. And yeah, let's keep going through here. And where is it at? Right. Okay, so it wasn't under KML. It was actually under Google Earth. Key hole markup language, KML. Uh, so we're gonna click on that. Right there it is. All right, so now we got those three selected, hit okay. When we go up to the formats, we only have those three to look through. I ran this program for a couple years without doing that and it was a huge waste of time because every time I would open up the program I would have to look through like we just did Google Earth it would be hard to find because I'd forget it wasn't under KML K it was under Google Earth um, so go ahead and knock that out so you don't have to do that for years and years and years and make your life simpler now there are a bunch of settings in here that you can go through and filters to uh, simplify the route or the tracks or just pull tracks out of the file or just do all this good stuff like that. Um, we'll go over that a little bit. Um, but right here, program's pretty much ready to go. 
So a lot of folks ask, does LeadNav have trail maps? Does LeadNav have this kind of map or that kind of map? LeadNav is a GPS. You can look in our other videos and learn all about the, the basic fundamentals of the LeadNav program. Um, but basically, if there's a GPS file out there, you can import it in the LeadNav. Uh, so let's actually, for an example, let's go online and look for a GPS file of, a, of an area. And we're just searching for GPS files of an area that we want to go to. Uh, we're going to use Moab, Utah as an example. I just searched uh, GPS files, Moab, Utah, and I found a bunch of paid companies that want to take your money to sell their GPS files, which is kind of a weird business. Uh, a lot of people appreciate the, or they put a lot of value in, the, in their time out there trailblazing. And then they try to just sell you the GPS file, which they're, it's a GPS file. There's, there's no real control over that file. There's better ways that they could, uh, that, uh, they could sell their, their trails into maps and evolve too, because we'd love to incorporate those maps in the lead nav. But I went online, I found this Jeep the USA website, and they actually are giving out their GPS files, trail files for free, it looks like. And I'll add this uh, website to the link below. So I go to their website, Moab Jeep Trails, and you got and you have uh, GPX files right here. Let's click on that. And look at that, they got everything broken up. Awesome job. They got a zip, a compressed file of all these. Uh, in here they got all access roads of Moab, major trails Moab, minor trails Moab, and waypoints Moab. So let's download the whole thing. I'm just gonna click on this file, download the GPX. And this happens to already be in GPX format. So we can put this file directly into lead nav as is, but say we want to uh, convert it and take a look at it on Google earth with some terrain. Well, we're going to have to make this GPX into a KML file. So Google earth can use it. So I downloaded the file over here. All right. So let's uh, minimize this, bump that over here to my other screen. All right. So here's Google earth. I'm not going to go over Google Earth today, but it is a free software program that you can get on any PC or Mac. And it does offer 3D terrain to help you in your planning when you're back home. See, we got 3D terrain that we can use. And that's the reason that you would want to convert a GPX to a KML is to put it in the Google Earth uh, to bounce back and forth or plan, do all your planning in Google Earth to then convert to back to a GPX to put into lead nav to take with you in the field. Again, the prime, this is the primary use of GPS Babel and why we use it. So let's actually go to our desktop up here. I made a folder for GPS files and let's drag these into that from the download win or from the download folder. All right. So now I have them up here on GPS Babel. We want to convert a GPX. So we chose GPX. We want to choose the file that we want to convert. Let's go to desktop, GPS files. Let's do the major trails. Just click on it. You can see now we have it chosen up here. Uh, we're going to leave this as is right now. Right now we have just tracks uh, toggled. And we want to make this Google Earth, KML. And we can choose where to put it. Let's just put it right back into that GPS file folder. And let's call it main trails. That's fine. So now we have both the file chosen and what we want it to be. Let's go through here and look at some of these filters. All right. So tracks start more. You can see you have all these different options. Uh, you can just try converting it like it is and see how it looks on Google Earth. Uh, depending on the machine that you're running, sometimes when you convert a track, it'll have, in Babel, it'll have all the, the angle pins, what we call serpentine dots. It'll have all those as a, as a point in the track. And depending on the laptop or the computer that you're running Google Earth on, and the size of this trail system file, you could really bog it down with all those additional dots displayed on the screen and you don't need them. So, but you can see in the settings in here, what I have chosen. If you have some of these other options chosen, you might end up having that really dense file where it's not just lines on the screen going into Google Earth. It's all these little teeny dots. 
And again, that'll bog down the system. So if you go to, through here, you, you can find out what's doing that. Um, it's usually uh, like display labels on track and route points. But let's, as I got it right here, let's, let's try that. I got the file chosen. It's a GPX. We want it to be a KML. Hit OK. And I had the preview turned on in GPS Babel. So it kind of shows you right here what you're getting. Let's close that. Okay, it says translation successful. Sometimes you might get an error in there, depending on the file type. If it's not the correct file type or if you didn't choose the correct file type, you might get an error. All right, so let's move this aside and go over to Google Earth. All right, you can see, let's zoom out here on Google Earth. So you can see this happen. Hit N for north. There we go. All right. There we go. N for north. All right. So over here in our files, you can see when I converted it, now we have a Moab main trails KML. This KML, I can take this and I can drag this. right into Google Earth, and it's automatically zooming in. So there you go, now you can see that we have all the GPS trail systems converted to KML, and they're in Google Earth. And now with that, we can zoom in here. Let's go somewhere cool. Look at that terrain. All right, here's a trailhead. Again, it's loading from the internet. Give it a second to crisp up. And there it is. Look at that. Now we got it converted. We can look at it on lead nav, study it with a little bit of terrain up on Google Earth, doing everything that you can do on Google Earth, which again, I'm not gonna go over actual Google Earth in this tutorial. I'm just showing you how to convert the file types for each. Um, but after you go through Google Earth and do all your other planning and studying and drawing routes that you actually wanna take, or if you wanna pull individual trail systems out, uh, for a day trip out to Moab. Uh, this is where you can now go over here in the Google Earth, organize your folders, and export. Say you want to export Cliffhanger. We can go to uh, Save Place As, and we can create an export folder, export the KML, and then we can use GPS Babel to convert it back to a GPX and to put right back in the lead nav. And then once it's in lead nav, we can go in there and do all the cool stuff that you can do in lead nav, like add audio turns and left, right, stay left, stay right, danger cliff or anything else that you already maybe planned in Google Earth can be brought in the lead nav as an audio file um, and a navigation file. That's just simply converting GPS files with a free program called GPS Babel, uh, available for your PC or Mac for a computer and that you can use to bounce file types back and forth between GPS units and software packages, software programs like Google Earth primarily. Uh, there are a couple other programs that we use. A lot of those programs use actual GPX files as well. Um, Google just has its own proprietary KML, KMZ format. Just like Lawrence has their USR, but they can still take GPX. Between those three units, this is definitely a program that you want to have uh, to give you that ability to transfer files back and forth. I'm not done yet. Sorry, I forgot a couple key points in all this. So here's a cleanup shot on those. LeadNav builds a very complicated file. It has audio in it, it has waypoints in it, it has serpentine dots in it. It's a very complex file uh, to export back into things like Google Earth and especially things like Fish Finder, Lawrence units. Uh, they can't handle the file if you just try to convert the file. Inside of a uh, lead nav, we do have features like in the pro pack to where you can take a, a route file and convert it or export it for GPS unit it's called or export tracks only or it'll basically take that file, that route file and simplify it back into a track and strip all the audio pins out. From lead nav, these are things that you would want to do or features that you would want to use before you export before you convert it with GPS Babel. Otherwise, the file is gonna to be too dense, especially for that Lawrence to handle. Uh, Google Earth may handle it, 
but depending on your PC or Mac, it might act really sluggish depending on the size of the file. Um, so that's where some of these features come into. If you haven't done that in LeadNav, you can go through and choose to convert routes to tracks in GPS Babel. You can convert to simplify. You can simplify that route uh, inside GPS Babel. If you go through some of these settings, I'm babbling now. <laughs> it's pretty simple, folks. We use it to convert file types between each other. The end. Mm.